National Mathematics Day is celebrated every year on 22nd December across the nation to recognize and celebrate the works of great mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. The former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, on 26th February 2012, declared 22nd December as the National Mathematics Day to mark the mathematician's birth anniversary. Srinivasa Ramanujan was an Indian mathematician who lived during the British rule in India. Though he had almost no formal training in pure mathematics, he made substantial contributions to mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series, and continued fractions, including solutions to mathematical problems then considered unsolvable. Srinivasa Ramanujan was born on 22 December 1887, in Erode, a small village in Tamil Nadu, about 400 kilometers southwest of Madras, now Chennai. When Ramanujan was a year old, his mother, Komal Tamal, took him to the town of Kumbakonam, about 160 kilometers near Madras, where his father K. Srinivasa Ayengar worked. Ramanujan entered the town high school in Kumbakonam in January 1898. He did well in all his school subjects and showed himself as an able all-round scholar. In 1902 when he was 15 years old, he obtained a copy of George Shubrichkar's synopsis of elementary results in pure and applied mathematics. This collection of thousands of theorems many presented with old and the briefest of proofs, aroused his genius. Having verified the results in Carr's book, Ramanujan went beyond it, developing his own theorems and ideas. In 1909 he began a search for a permanent employment that culminated in an interview with a government official, Ramchandra Rao, who was the secretary of the Indian Mathematical Society. Impressed by Ramanujan's mathematical prowess, Rao supported his research, but Ramanujan, unwilling to exist on charity, obtained a clerical post with the Madras Port Trust. In 1911 Ramanujan published the first of his papers on some properties of Bernoulli numbers in the Journal of the Indian Mathematical Society. His genius slowly gained recognition and in 1913 he began a correspondence with the British mathematician Godfrey H. Hardy that later led to a special scholarship from the University of Madras and a grant from Trinity College, Cambridge. Overcoming his religious objections, Ramanujan sailed from India on 17 March 1914. He met Eric Harold Neville, professor of mathematics at the University of Reading. Ramanujan could not stand the winter weather there, and he fell ill in March 1915. On 16 March 1916 Ramanujan graduated from Cambridge with a Bachelor of Arts by Research. The degree was later called Ph.D. On 6 December 1917, he was elected to London Mathematical Society. Ramanujan was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of London on 18th February 1918. This was the greatest honour that he would receive. On 10th October 1918, he became the first Indian to be elected a Fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. But his health worsened in England. He was diagnosed with tuberculosis and vitamin deficiency. Ramanujan sailed back to India on 27th February 1919. However, his health was very poor and, despite medical treatment, he died on 26 April 1920 at the age of 33. In a short span of life, Ramanujan made major achievements, which included his fastest algorithms for calculation of pi based on his series, circle method in partition number theory, three Ramanujan's congruences, 1729, Hardy Ramanujan number etc. The letters Ramanujan wrote to Hardy in 1913 had contained many fascinating results. Ramanujan, the man who knew infinity, 
left a number of unpublished notebooks filled with theorems that mathematicians have continued to study. G. N. Watson, Mason Professor of Pure Mathematics at Birmingham published 14 papers under the general title Theorems Stated by Ramanujan, and in all he published nearly 30 papers which were inspired by Ramanujan's work.